Tones are out. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, on the eve of the ratification of the Canada-China Foreign Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement, the Conservatives have failed to consult Parliament or consult Canadians. They're trying to tie the hands of Canadians for 31 years with no study, no debate, no consultation. The Conservatives have brought to Parliament the trade deals with Costa Rica, with Jordan, with Panama. So why not this trade deal with China? Excellent. Why won't the Prime Minister allow this constraining deal with China to even be debated in Parliament? Will he delay the ratification until this agreement with China has been properly studied here in this House? Yes. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, for almost uh, two decades, the Canadian governments have been trying to get a foreign investment protection and promotion agreement with China. And for one very simple reason, it's the Canadian investors have not had the kind of protection in China that Chinese investors have in Canada. This agreement allows us to move forward. It's why it's been, uh, it's why it's been almost entirely positive response from Canadian investors. They want to see this go forward, and we're, uh, we're committed to giving them the kind of protection they need. <laughs> Of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, let me quote the Prime Minister. It is a very fundamental constitutional principle that a previous government cannot bind the actions of a future government. Unquote. A year hasn't even passed since he said that, and now the Prime Minister is trying to tie the hands of future governments for 31 years. Let me be very clear the Conservatives won't tie the hands of the NDP. We will revoke this agreement if it is not in the best interest of Canadians. Why won't the Prime Minister allow the study of this deal? What does he have to hide? Here, here. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the NDP says he would revoke uh, the hard-earned right of Canadian investors to be protected in a, in a marketplace like China. Mr. Speaker, that is precisely why, of course, the Canadian investors, the Canadian business community, and the Canadian public at large does not trust the NDP with economic policy. We know, Mr. Speaker, that Chinese, China is an important market. We know that Canadians need investment protection there. This agreement does that, and we're very pleased to be with you. New Democrats support trade. We just don't support selling out Canada. Yeah.